Okay, I'm sorry. I lied. I actually don't know if the city I'm going to today is the oldest city in Korea. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not. So this raises the question, why did you lie? Well, I have heard that this place has some of the oldest and most historically cool fortresses in the world. Sorry, I'm, I'm running out of angles. So today I'm going to be exploring this city with one rule and one rule only. Since this place is known for being so old, at every location I go to, I have to find at least one thing that looks new or not very old looking. So let's go. But first, a death. Welcome to Suwon! Nobody knows what this is. I'm getting crafty with these mic setups. <laughs> so this one is gonna be kind of hard because it's literally a fortress built like 200 years ago. Anything built in the 1800s isn't gonna have anything new. Isn't it just crazy how it's like just a normal modern city and then bam, you have this palace. I'm getting weird looks because of this mic setup. But anyway, I think it's time for me to find some big things. So let's go. Everybody is looking at me like, who's that guy? What is that thing on his sunglasses? This place just does not have anything new in it. Like palaces are not meant to be new looking. I mean, these lights probably weren't installed in the 1800s, but I mean, does that really count? The only new things here would be the signs or the lights, but I don't wanna say that is my new thing because they are named, but like, it's not something unique to this place. I am so hot. <laughs> yes, an information center, a Korean information center. I thought I wasn't gonna find anything new, but I actually found an information center. Oh, look at that. There are like restaurants and shops themed to the palace area. No, oh, wow, this is perfect. Oh, I needed this. Okay, so we're gonna go to a place that it's not gonna be that hard to find something new because it actually opened very recently. So I'll see you there. Guys, you won't believe this. That is unbelievable. Welcome to Starfield Mall. So it seems like right now that the content that everybody likes right now is more like longer videos and storytelling and stuff like that. So comment down below if I should make longer videos. Cause my news is correct. And uh, people didn't lie to me if the internet didn't lie to me, and this is only in Seoul. But I heard that since this is a co ex mall, there is a library here, but not any library, a cool one. In this mall, it is just super duper easy to find new things because everything is new here, and it's not like this is an old palace or something. But I want to find something special to each location. Something that's not just a shop because, you know, there's shops everywhere. So I'm gonna try to find the library and that'll be the new thing for here. I don't think I'm supposed to be using this store stand, but hi. Before I find the library, I think it's worth noting that I got tacos. I ate tacos yesterday. I like tacos. I'm gonna eat them. Wow, I got fat from here, dude. Okay, got it. But I'm done here, and we 
have to find the library. So this looks somewhat like a normal library, just a very pretty one. Until you go here and see this. This background is insane. I literally turned off cinematic mode just so I could get this insane background. Have you ever had a background like this? I have my mom filming right there, but then... this is definitely something. It's it's new. It was recently opened and it's ginormous. This should have been in the Japan video, but it's not even in Japan. This reading area looks so cozy. I'm gonna go up there. Imagine that this is your actual library. Like you go to your public library in your city and you just go here for books like every time you want books. What do you guys think about this place? I'm giving you the mic. You can write your answer in the comments. Wow, that was a really good statement. That was that was actually like a super informational statement. Like I couldn't have said anything better than that. You guys are so talented at... Oh wait, what is this? The iPad's caught my eye. Wait, it would be crazy if this actually works. Hold on. The... Yeah, they locked the screen. Somebody uh, over there uh, saw me trying to, uh, disable all the iPads, so, 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 my hacking, I was, it was about to work, and then they kicked me out for, uh, tampering with electrical devices, at least I'm pretty sure that's what Google Translate said, so yeah, anyway, a while back I said I was gonna go here, yeah, I'm gonna go here, I forgot about that, I need to find somewhere where I can sit down, I'm gonna go over here, this feels too unreal, Unfortunately, this area that I'm sitting on right now does not have a cushion, so my butt is just sitting on the rock-hard concrete, and it's very uncomfortable, but... I mean, the background is, like, everything. Ima imagine they put a hotel here. You would just look out your window every day and see this. Imagine they put, like, a hotel into the books, they and they built, like, a balcony that came out into the books, and then you just see all this library around you, that would be sick. I can't believe that place actually exists. Apparently this floor, if I go down one floor, it's like a kid's floor, so I gotta check that out. This is the kid's lounge area where you can read. Oh, it looks really cool. Look at that. I mean, well, who wouldn't want to lounge in here? It's kind of sad that everything's in Korean because I can't read it. I would totally read like all these books here. That I I see a Korean literature and looks pretty cool. But um, yeah, I would I would read all these. But they're in Korean. Kind of sad because it seems so fun to just like come here, grab a book, and start reading in this cozy area. This is like any book lovers. I mean, even if you're not a book lover, you. You would just want to come here and just like, you know, lounge because it's so, it just looks so relaxed. Maybe I can go grab a, one of those comic books, one of these Korean comic books. And read one of those and just look at the pictures. If I can, actually. I might need a library card to do that. I have no idea, actually. <laughs> made it upstairs it's just a lot of books there's nothing else honestly i'm just using this area as a cozy place to do video editing finding clever ways to hide this mic i just wanted to record this right now because i heard that video editing is a cool skill to have and it's a good skill for later on in your life somehow and, uh, I, I guess that's cool. I guess I'm cool. Am I cool? Okay, so we're leaving the museum. We're going to Samsung Museum that I thought looked pretty... Sorry, just a little. Okay. 
So, uh, sorry, I'm just filming a little video. Okay, so I thought it looked pretty cool, the Samsung Museum. It's the Samsung Museum. <laughs> Yay! I was asked not to film. Everything is new here. There's like not a single old thing in sight. I hope it has English subtitles because I can't listen to Korean. I don't understand what they're saying. That was pretty cool. Okay, so there's a funny story I have to tell you. So actually, while we were exiting the building, we wanted, to, me and Skylar wanted to take the stairs, but they went up the elevator and we went all the way down the stairs and it turned out that there was no door to exit. So we had to come up all the way back up four flights of stairs to get to the elevators and then come back down. But then once we made our way up, then we tried to get out of the parking lot, but we were on B3, which is below three, the underground parking area. And I told my mom to go up. She didn't listen. So, we just wandered around the underground three floors parking lot and then we were just trying to find a way to exit and we found the exit but it was for cars so we had to go all the way up to the b2 b second floor so looked around for an exit but we thought that it, it did not look right it was deserted there were not even any cars in there so we went, went up again to b1 and then we went up again to one the first floor and if we looked like at the balcony because there was like a little balcony for the parking lot and we were so high up but we realized we were actually at ground level and below us it wasn't actually like three floors up to the ground they were below us actually underground so if that makes any sense maybe i can put a diagram up there so anyway we eventually saw light coming from that garage exit over there. So we just came out of that garage exit. And then now I'm here and we're calling a car to dinner. <laughs> Turns out we're going to a cafe, and in a, it's in a little neighborhood we did in Sporia. It's supposed to be pretty cool, though. Let's go. This is a cute little area, I guess. I literally saw these lamps on TikTok. This place actually doesn't look as old as I thought. It was only that palace area that was really old, but the rest is just like, it's just a city. Mango shaped ice. Green grape oh. It's sparkly. All right, we're done eating. Um, and w I'm just like walking around in this neighborhood area. It's actually pretty sick. Like there's a bunch of like people playing with games and stuff in there. I'm propping my phone against the palace here right now. But anyway, yeah, so I'm just gonna go home and I'll talk to you uh, at home, so let's fast forward to me at home. I'm home. Well, back at the hotel. Um, I don't really know what I meant when I said I'll talk to you when I get home, but here I am at the hotel and I'm talking to you, so I guess this is a good way to wrap up the video by saying, you know, the usual. I, I don't want to say it because it makes me feel like I'm beggar. Subscribe so we can pass Chip Kitten. There, I said it, I said it, I said it, and I'm not gonna say it again. Okay.